The first time I heard about the Surf Ranch was from a fellow skateboarder of mine named Chico Brenes. He had been talking about the Surf Ranch for a long time, so we went there and and I really had no um, no expectations. All I knew is that it was, you know, kind of like a beach town and, and uh, I was super excited. And then when we got there, it was just like, it blew my mind. Like what they did with the property and how everything was set up with the skate park and and they had a, a, a rock climbing wall and a pool and a swim up bar. And it was just, it was unbelievable. It was, it was amazing. So the first time I heard about the surf ranch was through Chico. So when uh, Jose Rojo told me that he was going to Nicaragua with Chico, because Chico would always go down every I think he probably still does. He goes down every year, I guess, to do these things. He just had one. Um, he brings a couple dudes down usually, and we go. They go skating and go to the, the surf ranch. I told him I was. I'm in. I wanted to go because I'd never been to Nicaragua before, and you know, I'm always down for a new place. So uh, when I hit cheeks up, he was like, "Yeah, absolutely." So. I was in. My name is Chico Brenes. I was born here in Nicaragua. I left uh, to the United States in 1985. There was like, during the whole revolution and during the war that was happening, you know, I remember I was living in uh, in the capital of Managua with my aunts and everybody, and I was going to school over there when everything was going on. And they were recruiting like small kids to go fight, you know, and. I was 10 years old at the time, but I was a little bit taller. So my mom got scared that they were gonna just recruit me and take me. So she was like, you know, let's go to the States. So over the years, we stayed in touch via email and they would send me updates on how the ranch was coming along. And then when it finally opened and, uh, you know, I, I plugged it for him on Transworld because I, I thought it looked rad and like, who wouldn't want to go to, to Nicaragua on vacation to skate and surf. But in the photos they would email me, I couldn't believe it was the same place. It looked amazing. And they said, you know, we're going to be doing uh, these skate camps with Chico in the Shop Central. The first skate camp that we did at the Surf Ranch was in 2013. You know, and they already had the park and everything like set up and everything. So we did a demo for the kids. We had a contest for the kids, you know. The first one that we did, it was good. Like a lot of people showed up. was surprised of all the people that came out of like everywhere even from you know neighboring countries like Costa Rica, El Salvador people just came out of the woodwork man it was crazy and I was like whoa man you know maybe this could work we started bringing you know pros and all kinds of people and doing demos for the kids and everything we brought over 30 professionals here to Nicaragua Give them the gods Give them the gods Cheers with the different skate campers that were there. Skated the park pretty much every night in the evening when it cooled off. Honestly, the trip that we took to Nicaragua, it being my first time, like, it was the best. It was probably one of my favorite trips I've ever been on, and I've been a pro skateboarder for going on 20 years. Yeah, the surf ranch was red. Nice dudes. i definitely go back. I can't speak highly enough of Lucas and Travis because what they did with the property and 
and just how the hospitality and everybody that worked there was just so kind and so just, it was just amazing. I mean, I, I would recommend this place to anybody, anybody.